Vivica. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Angel. You are so beautiful. You are so sweet. Want to come up into bed? Come on. Can you do it? Come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, you want to come sit up here with me? Come here. Hey. Come here, Angel. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi, everybody. This is Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. <clears throat> I am here in Disco's room. As you know, Disco is adopted and she's no longer here. Hi, everybody. I'm a little under the weather, so um, it's been a long couple of days. I'm going to get up because it's the only way I can film her. Hold on, please. Sorry. Come on. Up, 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 up. This is Angel, everybody. Very, bad, very sad and, and just so over ignorance and being people being uneducated. Is it? Can you sit? Sit, Mama. Good girl. Angel is four years of age, and she is very, 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 very pregnant. She's on her fourth litter. Fourth freaking litter. They don't know who the daddy is. Um, you saw the video earlier of Tammy and Jan ran down to Hallandale to pick Angel up. Apparently, um, you know, she's just in and out on the street and getting pregnant. She is... Uh, we did x-rays, and she has 7 to 10 babies in there, and she is due in approximately two weeks. Two weeks, 7 to 10 babies in her belly, a fourth freaking pregnancy for this poor dog. Um, her last pregnancy took uh, a very large, very hard toll on Mommy Angel. She... Um, was in labor for four freaking days and they didn't take her to the veterinarian to the animal hospital she's four years of age and only two of her puppies survived i believe out of seven um if i'm not mistaken so it is time for this vicious vicious cycle to end and i want to say thank you to my friend judy um uh, miami police officer who reached out to me last night and um basically you know said you know amy he, she already helped this this man once before um, with, I believe it was her, and she was pregnant. And um, all the puppies went to a rescue, and he promised to spay her, which obviously that did not happen. Uh, when the girls showed up on the property, there was also another female, which is her daughter, who they believe is pregnant also. So she was on a property with her daughter, a few other dogs. It breaks my heart because that's all she's known. That's her family. Her mother, um, the wife of this man, definitely loved her. I mean, it was her dog. She was registered as an emotional support dog and loved. Um, and sadly, she passed away of cancer very, very quickly. Very quickly. Right, Angel? Angel, come here, baby girl. Come on. You can come up with me. This is going to be your room now, Angel. <clears throat> This is where you're going to have all your babies. And thank God for the Nest camera where I can watch her and make sure she's okay day and night. Right, baby girl? Do you mind if I lay this way and I just... Are you camera shy? You're so pretty, baby. Yes, you are. You're so beautiful. She has such a sweet face. Her teeth are white. Um, three to four years of age. I don't know. I Her teeth look so white to me. She looks younger. But if she's had four litters, I guess she is four. So as I was saying, you can see her belly is uh, definitely descended. Um, like I said, there's seven to ten puppies in there. And the reason we know this is because we did an x-ray at the animal hospital. Dr. Clark confirmed seven to ten babies, and she's due in approximately two weeks. So my fear is with her last pregnancy... Um, if she was in labor for four days and only two of the puppies lived and they never took her to the animal hospital. Obviously, that is not going to happen with us. But um, I just don't want to put her through any added stress. We'll, 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 you know what, we'll take it one day at a time. She's doing approximately two weeks. Pauline, thank you for your $50. Oh, she's actually saying I am making a $50 challenge right now for Kendra. Um, and now I want to do it for Angel too. Pauline, thank you because 
We just rescued a mommy who is going to give birth to seven to 10 puppies. Um, Kendra, who is the worst. I mean, she's in such poor condition. She's at um, Neighborhood Veterinary Center in Hallandale uh, with Dr. Carlos in quarantine. And he is going to, he gave her meds for to settle. So you can settle for the night. And then he's going to let her, um, he's going to assess her in the morning. But she got all the meds that she needed. So that's Kendra. Um, and then we have our beautiful angel here today who's pregnant. She's so tired. She's so, so tired. I'm sure she's going to really enjoy this bed and her TV once I turn the volume up. And you know how it goes, guys. Unlimited. She just ate a whole bowl of dry food, uh, wet food, sorry. And she has a bowl of dry unlimited and water, which you saw her drinking. So we're going to give her lots of cushiony beds. And she has a nice bed on the floor with a blankie on top of it. I'll get her some stuffies and I'll get her some chew bones. Um, yes, I know. Um, very, very beautiful girl. Very sweet. So I'm asking all of you, please. We don't have the funds to cover a mother dog and seven to ten puppies right now. Um, and that's, you know, all the spays, the neuters, the microchips, the vaccines, the deworming. Plus, of course, Kendra, who we pulled today from the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. So we love you. We appreciate you. Um, Kendra is in rough shape, but she's going to be hopefully fine. We're going to just wait and talk to the doctor tomorrow, but she's out of there. And, you know, she's comfortable. She's safe. And that's all that matters right now. Um, I have another dog coming in tomorrow evening. And it is another sad situation. It is another English bulldog. It is a, a surrender. And it's a very, very sad story. So that dog's coming in late tomorrow evening between 8 and 8.30. Um, yeah, I, I just, you know, we're, it's just so overwhelming. Not the dog so much. What's overwhelming to me is just the ignorance and how uneducated people are. Um, I know you watched the video of Angel, her living conditions and listening to, you know, her so-called family speaking. Um, it's just enough. People, you, you can't live under a rock. Can you really live under a rock and be that uneducated and not know what you're doing to these poor animals to force her to go through a fourth pregnancy? And I mean, she just looks sad to me. She looks sad to me. You know, she looks tired and she looks sad. Um, Ken, this is Angel, and uh, Kendra is the one from Miami Dade, the English Bulldog and horrific condition. And the video's on our Facebook page. So um, please, we, we need your help by donating. And I'm asking all my wonderful volunteers that are so wonderful with my team, please come in and spend time with Angel. She needs it. She's sad. She needs affection. She needs love. She needs to know that she's safe. You know, she doesn't know. I mean, granted, she's in a nice clean room and on a bed but she doesn't know what's happening in her life. She's only known her own. She's only known her only family with her, her daughter and, and two other dogs there. That's her family. And you know, that's, oh, that's Kelly. It's okay. What's the matter, mama? You're all right. You nervous? What baby? It's okay. You want to come over? Oh, she can't get close enough. Are you all right? What's the matter, mommy? You okay? I got you. I got you. Don't be going into labor in me early. No, no, no. You all right? Well, they take the temperature, and that's how they pretty much uh, can kind of guesstimate when she's due. Um, it's crazy because she's not that big, right? I don't know. She's just, her belly's not, like, that big. And then you can see her nipples are big. Mommy, can I see your belly? Angel. Can I see your belly, Mama? He's a pretty girl, thanks. Who's my pretty girl? What do you want to watch on TV, Angel? Angel, show everybody how pretty you are. Look. Say hi, look pretty. Look at her. She's got the shepherd ears. Beautiful white teeth. You're beautiful, Angel. You're so beautiful. It's going to be okay now, I promise you. You're going to have your babies in comfort with love. And anything that you need medically, you're going to be taken care of. You're not going to suffer and you're not going to be in any distress with us. I promise. What happens with the pups? What pups? Her previous pups? Her previous pups went to a, a rescue. Um, 
friend of mine who's a police officer helped this gentleman got all of her previous puppies into a rescue. They promised that they would spay her and then bam, she's pregnant again and now she's on her fourth freaking litter. Yeah, and she's sweet as sugar. She's just so sweet. Hi. I just had her outside. She did her peepees outside, right, Mimi? Oh, we're gonna have lots of cuddles. Yeah. Go for rocks. Yeah. Oh, you're breathing a little heavy there. What's going on? You okay? Huh? Are you comfy? Don't be sad. She's stressed. So I'm going to turn the TV on. I'm going to put some soft music on for her. And I'm asking everybody to please come and visit with Angel and love on her. She needs it. She doesn't understand what's happening. Um, I don't know, Jamie. They would not surrender the other dog on the property that's possibly pregnant. Um, so I, I don't know. We can only help where we can. Now every room in this house is full. Every room is full and every one of my fosters is full. So until we get some dogs adopted, and like I said, I have another dog coming in tomorrow night. So I'm literally juggling. Um, I have a meet and greet tomorrow for um, Sky, and I'm praying to God that goes through. Otherwise, I'm going to have a, um, a dog without a room. Yeah, I'm juggling. And also I have Ginger um, that we pulled from the Miami-Dade. She has a little thing that's seven pounds. Super nippy and bitey, very, very bitey. So we need to figure out what's going on and go spend time with her. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, Kendra is now at Neighborhood. So that's two more dogs in quarantine. So I am literally, this is like gambling, <laughs> trying to, you know, get these dogs in. <clears throat> I'm hoping they get adopted and there'll be an open room for them. Um, or we have to really try to figure something out. So we are done. We are done right now rescuing, so please don't tag me. Please don't ask me to take in another dog right now. Um, we need to stay focused on Kendra for seven to ten puppies. We need to stay focused on Sky up front in this house, Albert who's here, Mommy, Godiva, and Gage, and, of course, Little Porcelain. And then, like I said, the two dogs that are still at Neighborhood Veterinary, um, Ginger and now Kendra. So we need your donations, please. We have a lot on our plate. And um, I'm asking for you to please donate, even if it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. There's over 245 wonderful people following us on Facebook um, actively. I don't know how many, but if everyone is following, I know when I do a video adoption of Disco and there's like 5,000 people viewed it, if everybody gave just two dollars or five dollars, think how that will add up. Um, so please think about what I'm saying to you. I'm not asking just to hear myself speak. I'm asking because we really need your help. So thank you in advance. And um, we thank you for your love and your support so, so, so much and allowing us to continue to save these lives in you. I will update more later um, this evening because I have to go home to my dogs right now. And, um, and then I'll be back later to let everybody out. This is Amy signing off with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida with one of our newest rescues from today on Friday. Sweet Mommy Angel, who was pregnant with seven to 10 puppies and due in approximately two weeks. We're counting on you. Please donate. Thank you.